Wake said he could use the clicker to undo the horror story. I need to get back to Bright Falls, to Casey and Wake. I should check in with Casey. Oh, sun broke. Optional, Invesi investigate the previously flooded area. Oh, okay, every time we finish a thing, the flood recedes. Which means we can now... I know the trailer park was flooded. What else was flooded? Oh, the ranger cabin was flooded, right? Okay, you see this is still stuck here. I still don't have the bolt cutter, so I imagine we'll be getting it and coming back. We don't have to worry too much, but we will... Let's investigate the trailer first. Oh, these things are on opposite ends, how annoying. Actually, in that case, I'm gonna... I'm probably gonna go to the ranger cabin first. Why don't we? Things should be okay now. For a little bit anyway. Oh, I hate the overlap so much. I think I'm gonna have a heart attack soon. I need to take my heart medication. Oh, where am I going? Uh, no, Fresh Pot Gift Shop is this way. So just to make sure again... They say investigate. I don't know what you want me to investigate because it doesn't seem like... There's anything to me. Although at the same time... Some of the interaction points, like before we get too close to them, it's just a little dot. And sometimes I do miss them because I find them a little bit small. So it's totally possible that there is something. But, yeah. Bolt cutters means that we'll be coming back. I think we can probably come back to all the different areas at any time before the ending. So all those collectibles, we'll have time to come across all of them. Okay, use one of my charms. Come on, Casey. Should I use the other one? No answer. David. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Hey, this is David. Leave a message. David, can you call me back, please? It's urgent. Please. Why isn't David answering? Is Logan all right? How does this all work? Has the horror story already gotten her? We should know. Don't forget to use the janitor's bucket in the janitor's break room to alternate between characters. Yes, but we have to be in Bright Falls for that to happen. We're in Watery right now. So I can't really think about that. I remember. I, I think we can do a part and then whenever we stop, like right now, when we get back to Bright Falls, we'll switch. The flooding's lowered. I should look around. See where the water was hiding. Yes. That's what I was thinking as well. Will we eventually have the water recede so much that... It'll be dry. I just have to hope that Alan is writing a story where we're being risky because we want great rewards and that we'll be happy in the end. We'll be alive and happy and nobody's dead. I'm just so... I don't know about Logan, though. Logan's fate worries me a little bit. So this is new. Oh, the ranger's cabin. That's where we were. Or... Never mind. I'm wrong. All right, we got to deal with this quick. You want to do some propane tanks? We have quite a few. Don't wait. We, we learned this already. Don't wait. Come here. Wait, where'd it go? I've lost track of it. Less monsters. We're endangering wildlife or something. Here's a ranger's cabin, which is not the sauna cabin. 
Ranger? Oh, seriously? Wait, can I just screwdriver this? Some of them I can, some of them I need an actual key. Kind of a crapshoot. It's nice and clean in here. Good for me to recover some supplies. Oh, I lost a charm earlier, even though I had a whole bunch of healing items, because healing in the middle of combat is just a bit hectic. And so, instead of the... I want to save the other healing, or the saving my life charm, because I want to save it for bosses, probably. So for now, I have the deer charm. Increases resilience against being staggered or interrupted. That's a good deer. They're scary. You touch all of them, too. Oh, wait. There's an FBC file here. This ain't just a ranger's cabin. What kind of cabin was it? Hey, isn't this the tree? The first tree that led into the first overlap? Section of Grizzly Giant, 101 feet circumference. Wow. That's a big tree. Wait, this is the same kind of cabin as the one that we saw for the nursery rhyme, right? Oh, speak of the devil. Another one of those rhymes. I didn't pick up the reward for the other one yet, I remember. Hmm. A young woman eager and smart ventured into the woods, the beast's lair. The king of the forest stole her heart, and together they now live without a care. Young woman went to the woods. A mother. I'm a mother. The king of the forest stole her heart, and together they now live without a care. King of the forest, who would even... King of the forest. Could be like a moose? Hero? Oh, we might want to look around the house first because there might be dolls inside. Hold up. Ah, uh, I wish they- oh. oh, I thought there wasn't anything in here. Thank you. It's that painting again. Well, there's no computer in this house. Nothing interesting? No wolves inside? Alright. Oh yeah, dolls. Bear. Maiden. Oh, a girl might be a maiden, not a mother. Oh. Somebody's... Oh! Oh, okay. The dolls that we just picked up. Monster. Monster, bear, maiden. The bear and the maiden are married? Hold up. Two towels. One toothbrush. Do they share one toothbrush between the bear and the maiden? Well, first of all, this whole thing was set up here to be, um, an observation by the FBC, so... Hmm, <laughs> somebody was smoking a bunch. Experiment PFNR23, codename Beauty and the Beast. Test results notations. Creating the perfect environment for each test case has become the crux of my study. However, I'm certain that setting the stage in a sufficiently convincing manner will make the fiction come into existence. I'm now going to use propping in the way a set designer of a feature film would making the cabin seem like the actual house of the characters depicted in the rhyme, with small personal touches and realistic items in addition to the few key items, such as the drawings, dolls, and personal letters used so far. The early results have been promising, but incomplete. I will continue with the propping in a controlled manner until it reaches a functional state. It is crucial to gain traction with this. The dimensional opening I'm attempting to manifest in this very location will be a groundbreaking achievement worthy of my genius. <laughs> Your genius? Okay.
I enter the watery overlap by completing the parade float? Yes. That's two. The float was about a murder. The specific content of the art seems significant. Nursery rhymes. More dolls. Lots of dolls. Keep trying. Oops. That's a lot of dolls. Is that it? No, there's still more. <laughs> the maiden doll has a little bag for all its maidenly needs. Bear, what a little cutie. So well painted too. These are handcrafted. Field notes about the environment for nursery rhymes. <sighs> According to this, the FPC's goal here is to create some kind of dimensional opening. Making paranormal stuff, paranatural stuff happen on purpose. I need to get the clicker to wake and close this damn case. Before my family gets dragged any further into it. One thing that I thought was super weird when we were contacting David and Logan before, I think during one of the car rides, was that Logan said... I think she said that she texted us, but we never got a text. And then we just sort of very quickly moved past that conversation without confirming why we never got that text. So maybe there's a bit of um disconnect there already. Oh, it's in the back. Oh geez, it's still here. Well, the people disappear so fast, but the wolves remain. I gotcha, I gotcha. I take that back. Young woman, eager and smart, ventured into the woods. Maiden. The king of the forest stole her heart. Bear. Okay. Oh, jeez. Yeah, there was probably some sludge I didn't catch on the other one. Oh. You see what I mean about missing the interaction points? The dots are so small, sometimes I just completely don't see them. And they don't show up very far away either. It's okay, I'm not as scared this time. I think. Yo, keep it clean in here though, it's... You mess up the whole place. Yeah, it's, it's fine. I'm getting quite the charm collection. That's happened multiple times now, huh? Just this, this sludge coming out of something. It's like we're opening a rift into some other dimension and then... Lord! And then they... These charms just... Come out? We've got a friend. FBC Charm increases damage dealt while undetected by enemies. Okay, that could be good. While undetected. That only happens the first time, basically. Right? You can try it. Because after the first shot, you won't be undetected anymore. Do you think we can just go past this guy? The locals knew. Okay, he's already detected me. That was a cult member. Thanks. Yeah, I don't think that charm is gonna be that handy. That person saw me immediately. Okay. Well, that's one place. Let's go down to the trailer park then. Anything else we have here? The stash, we need a key. Do we just not have the key? Well, again, the bolt cutters. Don't have to worry. Let's get back down to the trailer area. Oh, it's... It's this? Can we stop it, please? That kind of scared me, just walking back here. Hearing that... 
We'll be back here. Now, will I finally be able to read the sign about the Kalevala workshop in peace without jump scares? That would be nice. Yes. Deerfest is just around the corner. The Kalevala Knights are here to help you with all your float-making needs. Free consultations. It's a huge thing. Kalevala. Is that some Nordic thing? Like Valhalla. All that stuff. Saga, Tor, Odin. By the way, last time I forgot to click on... Oh, hi! Okay, pretty well controlled here. I didn't- I forgot to click on it last time, but I, I did in between all the stuff, so there was a little investigation icon here before. It's gone now because I clicked on it. Hey, they didn't give me bolts back. They gave me actual ammo. Oh, we didn't go into the back section here, did we? Like, just the woods in general? Maybe there's not too much, though. Oh, we can walk all the way down? No, we can't. That's it. Mayor Setter. Have we seen any Figamore signs around here? I feel like we haven't seen as many. This place is still kind of dark. Are Tor and Odin back on the... the bus already? So we've seen all that before. Ah, oh, but there was something here that also needed a bolt cutter, right? <laughs> Maybe I'm backtracking a little bit too fast then. Yeah. Can't open this with my bare hands. What about the screwdriver? Okay. Can you mark it on the map at least so I remember it? Thanks. Ooh. Not openable. People lock their homes. Makes sense. But it's been flooded already. These homes... God, this is like <laughs> Boomer being bad with technology. Now they're finally off. Mmm, not looking very good for my family, I think. We sort of established from the previous shows that Pat's the one that's going crazy and the, the town people are actually okay. But now the town person, Tapio, just said that the Anderson girl drowned. So I'm not feeling very good about Logan. Starlight Symphony, hair covering logo. Does hair do this in space? What is Rocket connected to? Move foot out for better silhouette. In space, no one can hear you sing. Make text big, maybe more eye-catching font choice? Oh, Someone's... drafts? Comic book story idea. A literal space opera, a sci-fi musical with an alien love triangle. Murder mystery. Aliens meets rear window. Sunshine meets sound of music. Musical parts drawn in black and white. Negative colors. Singing is rhyming. Rhythm is visual. Break the fourth wall, go all out. This is gonna be my best work yet. A lot of creative types around here, huh? 
Yeah, somebody's entire workshop. There's an artist here. Miraculously, these supplies didn't all get flooded. Somehow. Does nobody live in this place anymore? Directly because of the flooding? It's so eerie when it's just... No lights and no sound. Ugh. Disappointment after disappointment. Well, that was that house. Some lights over there on that boat. Please clean up after yourselves. Fish cleaning station is for tenant use only. Ah, oh, there's a fish here. Whoa, it's so flat. <laughs> cool, they have a, a fishing station. The door, wait, that door was locked. Oh, we looked at this house, but this house we weren't able to get in. Okay. And then they have the central fishy area here. Oh. Okay, that kid looks a lot like Logan. Child doll. Is there a nursery rhyme? <sighs> Can we get a nice day with a clear sun around here? There's a rhyme over here. Yeah. The old fisherman had great luck. His catch at sea was beyond belief. But the hungry guests found relief in the fisherman's bountiful truck. Let's look around a little bit more first. I don't have a fisherman doll, anything like that. Please. Thank you. Nice fishing spot though, huh? Nice and serene, but I don't think we have the dolls for this. Old fisherman. Catch at sea. Old Fisherman. Old Fisherman, wise elder. Saga's not saying anything. It's not always right, though. Sometimes she doesn't say anything. The hungry guest found relief in the fisherman's bountiful truck. Truck? Hungry guest found relief. I was thinking of maybe the monster. We have a monster doll. But then the truck... Which one would the truck be? Yeah. Oh. Were these here before? Ah, I, I focused on the wrong thing here. It said the hungry guest found relief in the um, fisherman's truck. So I was thinking about the truck. But it's talking about how the hungry... The hungry guest found relief. Meaning the hungry guest is no longer hungry. So the candy. And the hungry guest is a bear. This is ridiculous. Following this again. Hi. Stop. Those guys are big and scary. Oh, hi. More coffee coming right out. Coffee? Oh, man. Whoa, 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 Saga! How did we survive? There's more. Girl just wanted to save some bullets, that's all. We happy? Yikes. All that for a dang charm. Oh, come on, really? I, I need supplies. You need to give me stuff. I'm gonna need a bigger charm bracelet. Coffee World Token Charm increases quality and quantity of resources found. Oh. I can't give up maximum health, though. And I especially can't give up Logan's charm. That's so... That feels so symbolic. I, I can't give that up. 
So, uh, does anybody want to give me back bolts? One guy that died here? No? Okay, don't give me bolts then. Fine, be that way. I don't believe we've looked in this house yet? Another cult box. Oh. Screwdriver? No, this needs like an actual key. The clicker. Supernatural light switch. Yeah, it's nothing. Um. And like last time, we have this optional thing here. I want to at least clear it out if we can. Make the, the check mark check. How do I tell if a lock is openable by a screwdriver or not? The cult boxes don't seem to be openable by that. Sometimes maybe I miss the interaction prompt because the light from the flashlight is really bright. And then when I aim at the thing, it's like this white patch. Ooh. Graphic novel idea reply. William Portman to Joel Skarsgård. That's a, is that a Nordic last name as well? In August. Mr. Skarsgård. Thank you for your proposal. Starlight Symphony sounds like a wonderful project and a very creative idea. However, our publishing house will unfortunately have to decline at this time. We wish you all the best in the future. Keep dreaming. Best regards, William Portman. The keys. Tony Tenenbaum to Fred Jones. Hey, I moved the keys somewhere the flooding can't wash them away. This spot might be a bit harder to reach, but I'm sure you can get your hands on them just fine. Tony. Please respond, James to Megan Johnson. Pretty recent. Megan, just let me know you're okay, please. I miss you. I don't need to know where you are. Just that you're okay. Just reply to me. You owe me that much. Well, these emails are all different people. Who lives here? They're all completely different people. Keys? This might be something we want to pay attention to. If they're talking about the keys to the cult stash outside, then these people might be cultists. Somewhere where the flooding can't reach. Somewhere high up, like uh, on the top shelf. Well, these shelves are pretty small. Saga's head is like poking above them. Oh, completely uneaten muffins. What a waste. Hey, this is February too. Maybe it was just an asset after all. <laughs> See, I'm thinking maybe the key would be somewhere high up like that. In the house? Or somewhere else? The pie in the sky is the moon. Ham radio. There's some conspiracy theory type stuff here. <laughs> Wait, that's it? The key. We've got to find the key. It ain't here. Somewhere where the flooding can't reach. Car? Trailer park stash key. It's right. We've already seen it, apparently. Oh! Wait, there's a board here. Oh! Wow. Hey, this means that the, the stash next to the Huotari well, maybe we've seen it already too, but I don't know where the key is yet. Okay. Yay! The woods will swallow you whole. Thank you, thank you. I'll wait for that to happen. Oh, I've got way too much stuff now. Yeah. That's a stash. Now, are we done with the trailer park area then? Because it looks like... Well, the objective hasn't cleared out yet. What am I missing? What else was flooded? I honestly don't remember. I rem What the f- What the hell? Oh my god! I got way caught off guard here. I didn't think...
Oh, I'm never gonna randomly start reading stuff in the middle of... Outside. Of being outside. What the hell? It's gotta come here. Buddy came to take my trauma pad right away. Oh man, that was <laughs> not fun. Not fun. Oh. I never want to have that happen again, okay? We gotta be careful. Where did they even come from? God knows. I feel like that should be it for now. I mean, we don't have the bolt cutters yet. Anything back in my house? Was there anything... I potentially missed out on? No, this is the usual. When are you gonna take off the optional thing? I need you to take it off for me. It's a mess. Oh wow, she had her own little kitchen set here. And we got all this stuff here already, as it says on the side. Barely see this. In fact, I can't anymore. Yeah, it's not the right kind of daylight, I guess. Okay. I want to leave. But I want to find out what's making the optional thing stick around. Ooh. Yeah, there's some footprints around here. Oh? <laughs> what am I looking at? Oh! Another charm. Oh, this might be the one that I solved up there, and then it probably would have led me down here. But I didn't see the tracks last time. So this is where it was. Okay. Lighthouse charm, yeah. Increases maximum amount of health, restored in safe havens. Hmm, okay. Hey, remember the one... lunchbox I didn't find yet? So there's some rocks here. There were some rocks... Uh, over there. There's some rocks here. Another Alex Casey lunchbox? Here we go. You can do anything you put your mind to, hero. So as long as what you put your mind to is part of the story. That's a bit depressing to think about. I don't have any agency, is that what you're trying to say? Oh yeah, damn, people were... Somebody's lost cat, they were really sad about it. Coffee World tickets. Kids $15, adults $25, senior citizens $10. I can't tell if that's expensive or not. I mean, there's not really anything to play in here, is there? Ah, the Espresso Express, the Ferris wheel. Beautiful. And I think the last flooded area might be here. Remember there was an area called... Look. Someone's here. Yeah. There was an area called Latte Lagoon. Yeah. And then... We didn't do anything here because there was nothing to be done here. Which is no longer the case. Oh, this is so creepy. Another rhyme. You wanna give me some stuff? No? 
Oh my god. It's still so foggy. That looks like the heart on a Taken. I don't like it. A devil with a prize lured the animals to, to his boat all shiny and new. Who would float and who would sink? Asked the devil with a wink. The moose went splash, the deer sailed on, but which one of them was therefore gone? We have a moose and a deer, right? We do. The devil. The devil could be monster? Or trickster? Devil with a prize. Devil has a boat? Devil... Let's try trickster. Devil has a boat. The moose went splash. The deer sailed on. The moose is in the water. If the deer sailed on, what is this? This is like a ring? Light? If the deer sailed on, I kind of want to put the deer at the boat too, but the boat's already occupied. Prize. Well, maybe, maybe devil with a prize. It should be... So this is deer. And then this one is trickster? Sure. Prize. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. A charm. Thanks. Perfect for my bracelet. Mr. Drippy Charm increases damage dealt when low on health. Oh, I need more slots. I don't have enough. I have so many charms. I have 10 charms and 3 slots. That just ain't working out. Again though, this one almost tripped me up because of the whole... You're not supposed to pay attention to the logic of the words. You're just supposed to see which ones are on the same line, basically. This bridge got fixed quick. Right. Ooh. Hey, this wasn't here before. Was this a previously flooded area? We're back in the town area. This is the sauna house. The dark presence attacks. Bailey ran around the corner as the street lamps flickered and went off. Bailey? It was in front of him. A glitching cloud. A dark, boiling monster. Looking at it felt like what a stroke must feel like. He was sick with fear. He fell. The dark presence ripped into him, swallowed him, filled his lungs and his brains with dark water. Bailey saw a snarling face in the darkness. Then he realized it was his own face. He was snarling. He was standing in the street in the dark and he was snarling. He was snarling, he snarled. The monster was gone. The darkness coiled around him in tatters and wisps. He was the monster now filled with rage. He was the monster now filled with rage, he shouted. Ugh. That's meta. Maybe... I think the water receded in this area as well, but my my optional thing still hasn't gone, been removed. I'm not sure how deeply I need to continue. Oh! Hey! Wow, you guys are here too? H how are you doing? You alive? I don't think everything's okay in Coffee World. Have you noticed? I'm getting this, like off feeling every night after work. What? Are you having nightmares again? Like when you were a kid? Do you need your security blanket? You need Blanky Blankerson? Ugh. Rude. You keep Blanky out of this. Oh, it's the, the nephew and the niece. Charlie and Charlene. Ilmo's nephew, I think? We read an email about this before. Look, good luck with the kids. Who are you even advertising to? There's nobody in this town. Oh, the music has stopped. Quite the show that Artie fella put on today, eh? I loved it. I had half a mind to come down and start dancing. Oh, why didn't you? You've got to grab life's gifts while you can. Are we good now? Oh, they're just straight up gone. It's not even about getting to talk to Adi, he's just gone. Hey, how's it going? It's alright. We get to be backstage. Oh. 
Oh! Oh, okay, so the puddles... Oh, I thought we had to go back to Brightfall specifically to switch to Alan. But no, anywhere where Ati is, I guess we can switch because Ati equals janitor equals puddles. Poor thing. Wait though, I'm still thinking about the optional thing. I'd really like to get it checked off. Is it possible to? Whoa. What's in here? Backstage. Thank you. Somebody was working here. That thing's only playing the backing track. There's no singer. Ati, where'd you go? Hey, let me see if I can figure out this optional thing. After that, we'll switch to Alan. There's a stash here. Another locked box. Yeah, it was actually marked on the map before I even came here. Are you the last thing I'm missing? The car one was too easy. Here's mine. There are three batteries, B1, B2, B3, which have a combined charge of 1600 amps. B2 has 128 amps, more than B3. B1 has two times as much charge as B3. How many amps does B2 have? Oh no, do we have to do math here? Seriously? Okay, hold on, let me... Let me grab pen and paper. B1 plus B2 plus B3 is 1600... Which means B2 is... 368 plus 128. 496. Oh, did I do this right? Yay! Damn you, making me do math. Why do I have to take a fucking math test to open a stash? What if I needed to get in fast? I can't do math in my head. I'm not Ada fucking Lovelace. I missed dinner getting this thing open. It was family pizza night. <laughs> I hear you, man. Awful of them. Even the people that are meant to open these don't enjoy it. How you guys doing there? Well, at least the flooding's gone down. <laughs> yeah, but the fish aren't biting any better. Are there any fish at all? This town just seems so sleepy. You know, you really shouldn't be out here by yourself this late. You kidding? Watery is the safest, most boring town in the world. I wish. <laughs> I wish that was the case. <laughs> This guy knows what's up. Oh! Ah! That stash that I thought we couldn't open, we can open it. Because the clue was what hides behind that smile. This smile. The key was behind the smile. I see. I see. Oh, it's the stash that was right next to the well. Where's the well? I completely lost track of everything already. I'm really hoping this is going to clear out the... Oh, I was going the right way. The optional thing. This is the last stash that I can see for the time being. This stash right here. This one. It wasn't just a random little thing. Yeah, it's telling me that, hey, the key is behind the smile. There you go. MNT were supposed to be on patrol last night, but didn't show. If anyone hears anything from them, let me know. Ooh. Mulligan and Thornton? Because they accidentally killed a girl. That's when it happened. Hey, this area I missed out on before. There is a cult stash here. Really hoping this is what's gonna... finish up my optional objectives, even though it's not a flooded area. Mm. There's another cult stash. This one's a code. Okay. We saw some already on the wall. Diamond. River. Oh, is that just saying three? Like, number three is diamond. Number two is... 
something else. What kind of symbols do we see anyway? Maybe I should look at the symbols list first. Oh, you can jump down here, but you can't go the other way. Square? So we see four symbols. <laughs> Triangle. Circle. That doesn't really help me. There's all sorts of different shapes. These are the same as what we've seen, we've seen before. It's all about the um, different configurations of triangles. But how do we know which one's first? The bottom? The thing on the bottom? Circle. Triangle. Um, why is it just giving me these shapes? There's multiples of these shapes, too. Oh. Okay, I kind of brute forced this one. I'll show you what I did. Getting the Anderson brothers on board would be a big win for us. So I'm offering a $100 Superstore gift card, plus a year's worth of free coffee at the Old Deer Diner to whoever gets these two to join. Let's get recruiting! Oh, so they're not part of the cult then? This is confirmation, because they want to get them to join. Okay. Um, I, I'm not sure what the solution was in the end, but these two... So I thought this was number three, the third symbol. And then that's the second symbol. And since we have two, I just started playing around with the first one, which... It opened so quickly, I'm not even sure what the right solution was. It just sort of happened that quickly. Because <laughs> there's no one here. There's a diamond, there's a circle. We have way more symbols than we have that we need for the code. Yeah, I don't know what the squares and the triangles were about, but hey, we opened it. And that didn't change anything about the flooded area, so that's great. <laughs> Can we do some case stuff? A rhyme. Watery rhymes. How many more watery rhymes do we have? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Lunch boxes. In watery. Another mention of the story. Whoever this is, they seem aware of Wake's horror story. Cult stashes. Got so many of them. <sighs> Watery. Docks. Trailer park. I got all of them. Oh. Well, it could be because we're missing the way to get in. So just because we're missing one, don't gotta freak out yet. Story. These two are still for later. Okay. Cult of the tree. No found in cultist stash mentioning m and It's Thornton and Mulligan. <laughs> Confirmed. Cult members. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we killed them already, so... Yes. We found this one out a little bit too late. And then that's it for now. More of those kids' lunchboxes. Oh... But then, almost at the same time but not quite, another hand grabbed my other wrist. It was my childhood friend's estranged twin brother, a rugged ex-soldier who'd helped me fight back the zombie horde, with his chiseled jaw and smoldering eyes and worn leather jacket. My heart fluttered like a small bird against its cage. Ignore him, babe. You know I'm who you want. The sensitive friend I had cared for all my life, or the intense warrior I had known for one harrowing day. How was I ever going to choose? The zombies were easier than this. <laughs> the fan fiction. Oh, I think we have enough fragments to do an upgrade for sure now. That's another stash. Yeah, it was just like... There was a thingy right here. Okay. Let's look at some upgrades. 24. I got 24. Bow and bolts? Mmm... Fires two bolts before needing to be reloaded. That would make it more useful, infinitely. 
Saga realized the crossbow could hold two shots at the same time. <laughs> had she just not noticed before? Or had the weapon changed somehow? Like in a dream? Oh, maybe you were just really silly and didn't notice it before. Hmm. Mm, I think I'm gonna move on for now. I've cleared out everything on the map that I can see, all the stashes, and I've been to all the flooded areas. I even went and looked up a previous copy of the map that showed the flooded parts, which I wish they would tell me because I don't remember exactly, but it was the trailer park, it was the dock area in the town, it was Latay Lagoon, and also Ranger Cabin, and we've been to all of these places. Maybe it's the map bugging up because we have seen that these things seem to just be stuck here. And we'll be coming back here sometime anyway, so I think for now, let's move on to Alan. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit tired of walking through this whole place because it's big and it takes time. Let's go back to Alan.